The social network is not actually online. It's a very offline phenomenon. Because it's human beings connecting with other human beings. Even let's say somebody switch, switches off the internet. Will the social networks finish? No. We've actually gone online and we spend most of our interactions, which we used to have face-to-face -face interactions, we've taken them online. Right? It's all become virtual. So this is like we're again at crossroads of actually how much we believe that we've gone online, whereas how much we are offline doing most of the activities. I don't eat online, right? I don't sleep online. I don't take a bath online, right? So look at this. The human being in our lives, we are interacting with information. That is what's happening. The amount of information online concerns us, right? And all these social networks, we're just putting our lives out there. We're giving glimpses to people which we used to actually share offline in one portion of our life or one portion of our age. So this is a very interesting question overall. Um, 2015, I think we are still far away from actually determining a date or a timeline for how much the world would have progressed by then. When you ask the question, you say we. Mm -hmm. Who are those we who had the opportunity to actually go online and do commerce and so forth. Pakistan does not have PayPal, even to this date. A majority of the world doesn't want to do knowledge work with us because we don't have the forms of payments or e-payments available. Our people have a hardship in getting access to credit cards. So plastic money in our country is only limited to ATM machines. Only the privileged have access to credit cards. And there's a very small percentage of people. Pakistan is not even uh, a direct to market interest for global companies in reality, and this is for the majority of the developing world. So the we are those few, I can give you a number, like 20 to 24 countries in the world who, are, who have actually taken a certain percentage of their so social and e economic uh, activities online. But this portion is not 100%. Even in the US, it's somewhere in between 60, 60 to 68% of uh, financial activity happening online. So. This remains a challenge. There is no way we can determine whether we will be there by 2020, whether the, the, the world might there, be there by 2025. But yes, you will see the integration, the vertical integration of the internet in various walks of life, like education, healthcare, um, social services, emergency services, disaster preparedness and responses. So it's a variable aspect. You can see a lot of integration in certain areas, but a majority of the areas are still, we're still pending.